has factored into some of the inconsistency catching the football. They go to the pistol with Jawar Jordan still the running back. They faked it to him. Wide open Amari Huggins Bruce. Ash that's an 18 yard gain. And a lot of what Louisville is going to have to do defensively is misdirection. It's a very aggressive Miami defense, and they have. Plummer went under center. They blitzed him. He throws it deep down the field and caught inside the 10. Nate Kariski. Great call by Coach Brom. And they try to go with a little spider two Y banana. It's good pressure off the edge by Williams. Forces Plummer to retreat. Throw the slot receiver. Restrepo very quick in open field. And dive deep down the middle and caught. Jacoby George, an emerging star in recent weeks. 21. And the safety inside gets hung on Restrepo underneath, which allows George plenty. Also earned that honor when he had three touchdowns in their win against Texas A&M. Big hole and a touchdown. Cameron Kelly. Couldn't take Fletcher down. And a great job on the edge by the Miami tight ends. They go with two in the game. Riley Williams and Cam McCormick. They get great blocks up and on second and 15. Plummer deep down the field. Intercepted. Picked off by Cameron Kitchens. And Cam Kitchens' eyes are in the backfield the entire way. Plummer looks at the receiver the whole way, takes Kitchens right to it. He's got to get that ball there quicker because Kitchens could get there and cut it off immediately, which is exactly what he does. Excellent eyes by the safety to create the turnover. And that's what they're hoping to. And in those three games, they had only one turnover. It was an interception by Plummer against Virginia that was returned by the Cavs for a touchdown. Flea flicker, Restrepo's open. Inside the 25 and down to the 20. Field, great field position. You try to take a shot. Nothing's there. You got to trust your quarterback. Doesn't like the post, so he looks outside to his outlet to Restrepo. He hey, on third down defense, their opponents convert just 28% of the time. They rushed only three. Van Dyke. It is Restrepo's day. Touchdown. Xavier Restrepo. One of their team captains. Number 10, Ben Perry, is going to have a really difficult assignment. He's in coverage man to man, and he's nine yards away from Restrepo. He's kind of a hybrid linebacker safety, so him in a one on one situation in man coverage against Restrepo is advantage. And the two wins in the last six were both in overtime here against Clemson and Virginia. Short kickoff down to Maurice Turner. Maurice Turner with some room. The kicker tries to cut him off, and he did. Not only did he took him down. Frustration there from Bullet Gallus, and he took it out on Turner. It was really well executed on the edge by Louisville's return team. There's absolutely nothing there. And always used to say the kickoff return team, especially on the road, is one of the most important groups. Such Just the second kickoff return of the year for Turner. The other one went for 15 yards. Isaac Garendo here he goes again and collared out of bounds by James Williams 21 on the play for Louisville and this is an awesome job by the right guard Austin Collins they have a little movement up front he doesn't take the bait he stays wide engages with the Saint and allows Garendo to get to the edge really well executed in the front by Collins who's filling in for Renat under a half minute to go in the quarter. 14-7 Miami. They've scored 14 unanswered. Here's Garendo to tie the game, pending the extra point. This ain't missed the tackle, and nobody else got close in the games. And a little counter action, GT counter, a play that Florida State actually hit Miami on last week. It was a touchdown to Benson. It actually bent back to the other side. This time, Garendo stays playside. It's well executed against an all-out pressure. And ends a string of six straight completions for Tyler Van Dyke. On the reverse, Brashard Smith. Touchdown! He got a great block from the freshman tackle, Francis Maui Noah. 
Oh my goodness, if you're Bowie Noah, this is what you dream of. You get an opportunity to go against a defensive back in the open field and look at him, boom! Sit down, my friend, and watch your wide receiver take it right into the end zone. Yeah, that's a pancake right there. Durando, huge hole right side. Across midfield and out of bounds at the 47-yard line. 17-yard run for Garendo. And a really nice job by the left guard, Michael Gonzalez, having to reach that defensive tackle inside Branson Dean. And Third down and nine. They're not in field goal range. Deep drop. Plummer lots of time and has his man for a first down. To the 32-yard line of Miami, Chris Bell with his first catch of the day. Jack Plummer, the protection was good. They brought a little late pressure. You got man coverage underneath, and you're able to hit Bell right there. Correndo has done a great job these last few games creating some big plays. Five-man rush they got in the face of Plummer. Throws it up for grabs. It was caught, but out of bounds, say the officials. From their own 45, Miami. Van Dyke got the handoff off. There goes Mark Fletcher. Can they catch him? Yes. And he goes back on top as we look at it from the progressive pylon cam. Unbelievable effort by Fletcher. Looks like those feet are in bounds. Where's the ball? It's tough to tell. Is that left foot out just before you get goal line? Fletcher ran into traffic and surges into the end zone for a Miami touchdown and a hurricane lead. And a great second effort. You'll see Fletcher work in over the right guard for a moment, bend back left just a little bit, continues to drive his legs and eventually finds pay dirt. Nothing there initially, but overpowering. Hasn't thrown a pass this year's run four times. That's why he's in there. And he scores. Evan Conley. His first touchdown of the season. And just a great job. You have one guy going right to left, faking the jet sweep. Then you fake the pitch. A lot of movement going in opposite directions. And Conley splits it right up the middle. Makes a guy miss and lunges. Crash the motion man. They swing it out wide to hit. Trying to make a move. And he scores. Got away. From Jaden Davis. Louisville back on top. Terrific effort by Thrash using that injured left hand for the stiff. And like Johnny Majors isn't in as a coach for that reason. And Howard Stellenberger took off took over Miami when it was way down. Louisville when it was down. Started the program at FAU. Here's Fletcher. Second and six, four and a half to go. And a wide open receiver, it's Kevin Coleman trying to make a move on Kitchens, and he did. Touchdown, Louisville. 58 yards. It's a big collision. You see these two defenders, Davis and Couch, just run right into each other in man coverage. Wow, just absolutely nothing you can do about it as a defender. Your eyes are on the receiver that you're covering, and how about the move in the open field by Kevin Coleman, tight roping the sideline after making Kitchens miss. Well, <laughs> we're waiting. <laughs> I've been told mattress company. Yes, a great one, I'm sure. Here's Van Dyke, deeper Strumpo's behind the defense. How can that happen at this juncture? 48 for Miami on the long. Completion to Restrepo. And just a great job by Tyler Van Dyke. Buying a little time in the pocket. Does not get off his spot very often. That time on the move. Throws a perfect pass to Restrepo. Louisville with a crowd back near the goal line. Van Dyke up in the air. All the way to the goal line. Restrepo has it. But he swung down at the five. Off the ricochet, it wound up with Restrepo. And Louisville wins. They go to 10-1. 193. 193, the career high. And again, 
Craig, you wonder about, well, not for the penalties, they're a little bit closer. Might that have been a touchdown? Uh, I think it was.